Hi, it's Kelly coming to you from my family room with a quick and easy tutorial on how to use a new tool, WeVideo, to make a screencast to share to your students. I know a lot of you are wanting to make videos at home, and I think that's awesome. So WeVideo is going to help you do that. So let's start by going to WeVideo.com. Once you're at WeVideo.com, you just simply click look, sign up with Google. It may ask you know, you to click on your Google account, click on your work Google account. We have some teachers for the premium features for this tool. So we're going to start with blank edit. All right, we are going to save it under the one called my project and click start editing. A few things you can do in WeVideo other than edit other videos is in the media tab, these are the things you're going to want to do. So record is going to allow you to either do a straight up video record like what you see down in the corner um, or do a screen record which many of you just want to do like you're used to maybe doing with Screencastify however Screencastify has limited us now to five minutes um, during this pandemic or you could do webcam and screen which is what I'm doing here so we're going to do this one just a screencast again you could use webcam just record yourself pop it in the video editor and share it out to your students but for this example, we're going to do a screencast. All right, we're going to let it use our default mic on our laptops. We're going to choose our entire screen and click share. Okay, so now it's going to start recording us in three, two, one. This bar at the bottom will always be here where you can quickly stop your sharing. I'm going to hide that for now, and I'll show you how to get back to that by the end. So it is now recording what I'm doing on my screen. I am going to go to an online whiteboard app called aapp.com. So here's this website address right here, aapp.com. And I can use the stylus that's built into my laptop. It's at the bottom. If you don't know where it is, it's under the words ThinkPad on your laptop. Just pop it out. Um, and I can use the pen tool. I can change the thickness. I can change the color. And I can start to do a lesson for my students on something that we're learning about. So we're going to be doing an area lesson right here. So if the length is four and the width is four, we know that length times width equals area. And our length is four, our width is four. You guys are the content experts. You know how best to use a tool like this to teach your students um, virtually. And we're all, we're all learning this together. Um, you don't have to, certainly do not have to go to aapp.com. You could go to any site you want. So if you wanted to go to, let's say, National Geographic Kids and read an article with them and ask them to respond in one way or another, maybe it's not even to you directly. Maybe it's to their parents. Watch this video together with your um, parents and talk about. You can go to any website you want. It will screen record what you're doing. Okay? So we're going to go back to a video and we're going to stop that recording. So I'm going to find my... Chrome icon down here, click the video and hit stop sharing. So it has now stopped recording my screen. Okay, I click save and it goes right here into my media folder and it is processing. So this is a one minute 41 second screencast that I've created. The blue line at the bottom just means it's still processing and once that's done, I will grab this clip and drag it down to video one. Video one is like your, your main part of your video editor. And at the beginning, before I got to the AWE app, I had a little bit of, you know, messing around with my computer. So I'm just going to drag this timeline till where I want it to start. I want it to start here. So I'm going to click down here and I'm going to click that scissors icon. It's going to cut those two clips in half. So I'm going to choose the one I don't want and hit the garbage can. And I'm going to bring this one back to the beginning. Okay, there are fancier things you can do with this um, app if you're so inclined. There's transitions, there's text, there's backgrounds, there's audio, there's music. Um, but this is just plain and simple right now. So if I were to play this, okay, and I can use the stylus, but you can see what your video is going to look like. Once you're done and you're happy with how it looks, you click the finish button. Okay, oh, it's still not done processing. The finish button is going to let you export. You click finish. Once it's done, it goes here to exports where you can then download your video. It'll You can share it um, to Google Drive and share it out with your students so that they can watch it. Hope that helps.